Coming up next, from Lafayette, Indiana, the wonderful, probably, gentleman. I I'm thought it was cool. I thought <laughs> One it was size cool. fits all. Yeah! from Lafayette, Indiana, and we're all about as old as your combined ages. So I'm Steve. I'm Gary. Martin. Bill. I'm Jeff. And the first game we're going to do tonight is one that we call Stuck the Page. I need a volunteer to choose a book from Bill's two stacks. So who wants to choose a book from Bill's stacks? Raise your hand. Trust me, he won't bite. Unless you pay him. And while Bill's getting that, what I need for our players up here from Martin, Jeff, and Gary, I need, um, give me a location that would not fit on this stage. Pluto. 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 Pluto, very good. Not a planet anymore, but Pluto works perfectly well. So, the scene is Pluto. The way second the page works, Jeff and Gary both have books. Please announce them to the audience. The Cat in the Hat by Dr. Seuss. And Gary. Stella Luna. I need a number, please, right here between one and four. Uh, two. Two. Jeff, you're starting on page two. And a number, please, between two and five over here, please. You in the white shirt. Four. Four. Very good. Gary, you're on page four. And these guys were doing a scene. Martin does not have any of these books. Jeff and Gary will speak only with lines from those books. The game is stuck to the page. Are we ready, guys? Ready! Audience, are you ready? Yeah! Here we go, step to the page. Wow, I can't believe we've been asleep for 25 years and we're finally here. That's awesome. The dark leafy tangle of branches caught me. I can't believe there are trees here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, we better start taking some pictures. They'll get there like in 10 years or so. Come on. Mother, where are you? Uh, she's like 25 years away, all right? I sat there with Sally. <laughs> okay, thanks for bringing the chair out. You could have brought one for me too, but I'll just stand. Here, we'll get some pictures of you. Say something. We sat there, we too. Okay. <laughs> oh. Down, down again, oh. she drops. Oh. Hey, 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 hey! Wait, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? Don't do that. We gotta, we gotta get some good pictures. She clutched the thin branch. <laughs> that, that's a chair. That's she was sitting on a chair. Or he, she was sitting on a chair. Too wet to go out. Well, yeah, and there's no air, but that's okay too. All right. Cold with fear. Yeah, it's real cold here. Like too a... cold to play ball. Oh uh, yes. Okay. I'll... And that's stuff in the page, ladies and gentlemen. A round of applause for the players. All right, our next game we're going to play is one of our favorite games. It's called Historical Ballet. I'm going to set up some audio here real quick. What we need for Historical Ballet is a volunteer. Ooh. Uh, yes, sir, the white shirt. Come on up. You can sit on the magic chair. We can set it aside just for you. There you go, sir. Your job as we play the game of Historical Ballet is to watch this ballet as it, as it unfolds and be able to guess what event in history that they are going to portray. So, since you're not supposed to be here when we hit the event, you need to go away. So, go off for our magical secret mysteries. Soundproof booth, off you go. Hi. Ladies room is out there on the right. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> this off. The fall of Atlantis. Yes, the fall of Atlantis. That's clearly a historical event. So we will be portraying the fall of they will be portraying the fall of Atlantis. So I need a character for each of our players. So for Jeff on the end, something from clearly that we all remember from the fall of Atlantis. What will Jeff portray? Ariel. 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 Yes. 
As we all know, Ariel was at the Fall of Atlantis. Uh, and what will Steve portray from the center section here? The Lemurian civilization. The what? I <laughs> you. The Lemurian civilization. Really? Wait, the Lemurian civilization. Real players. Okay. <laughs> we'll, go with, we'll go with the Atlantean civilization. Close enough? Because I'm, I'm eager to Right. So you are the I'm the Atlantean, the entire Atlantean the entire civilization. civilization. Duh. You're typecast, I'm sorry, sir. Nice. And for Mr. Martin. The ocean. The ocean. Martin, you are the ocean. The entire ocean. Which I would just like You're to point out is clearly larger than the civilization. All right. So. Just to remind everyone, gentlemen, what parts are you playing, Steve? The entire Atlantean civilization! Jeff? <laughs> the much smaller and more feminine Ariel. Yes, you are. <laughs> and Martin. And I'm the ocean. All right. And this is <laughs> Once I figure out the technology, and being a technical person, I should have already figured this out. Sorry about that. Uh, once I figure out the technology, this will be done entirely in a classical tune because it is a ballet. All right, so we are now ready. So let's call in our volunteer. What's our volunteer's name, by the way? Aaron. 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 All right, so on the count of three, everybody yell, Aaron. One, two, three. Aaron. Here he goes, Aaron. <laughs> All right, so Aaron, they're going to portray this ballet. What you need to do is wait until the very end, and we're going to ask you if you can detect exactly what they were portraying and the parts of each play. <laughs> Understand your part? Yeah. Everybody ready? Yeah. Players ready? Yeah. Ready! ready. ready. Yeah. All right, let's see. What historical event? <laughs> Semi historical event. Can we say that again? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> you like magicians, you can't do the same trick twice. Uh, can I? Uh, Just can go I, on. Go for it. I don't know. Uh, natural disaster like a hurricane or a tsunami? You are so close! Yeah. Audience, was that right? Yeah. <laughs> what were you portraying, players? The fall of Atlantis. You were so close. Oh, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 So, uh, what part did uh, I at all play I think that's in the fall of Atlantis? He had a major role. The king. What? Steve, were you the king? I was a civilization, so yes, I was. He was the entire Atlantis. <laughs> <all day. laughs> And how about Jeff? Who was Jeff? Can I go to this guy first? Yes, go to this guy. <laughs> he was a natural disaster. He was the ocean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 did that already. That's great. And, uh, and for, for Jeff? I'm just going off for the... It's really the obvious movie. one. Atlantis, uh, was he tra the thing trying to protect them? Like... The trying to protect them. Like in the, so the movie Atlantis, like in the statues... Movie, that's that trying to protect something. The force field or the magic <laughs> power that sings... <laughs> 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 No, no, he wasn't. But that was. <laughs> <laughs> Who were you, Jeff? Oh, I can't. Um, let me. Oh, that's right. I had. I was a mermaid. Then I walked. It was. Uh, what's her name? Evolution. Oh. <laughs> All right, so uh, for the 
this next uh, game is called Word from Our Sponsor. We need another volunteer. Do we have a volunteer out there? You, Hope, with the Hope on his shirt. Come on up. I don't think that's your name, but. What's your name? Jeremy. Jeremy. Have a seat right here, Jeremy. Jeff will explain what's going to be going on. Now, for a word from our sponsor, uh, this young man, you said Jeremy, right? Yes. Okay, Jeremy has written a book, and we want to come up with a book that wouldn't normally be written. So give me a sport that would not have a book. Okay, so we're going to go to the Harry Potter thing. This is going to be Quidditch. Uh, this is going to be a Quidditch book, but we're going to be playing Quidditch in a tropical area. Somebody give me a tropical area. Amazon. Quidditch? Okay, so you're playing Quidditch on the Amazon. Okay, so the name of Jeremy's book is Quidditch on the Amazon. And so this is going to be a little talk show about this book, but we have these three gentlemen over here that will be giving us commercial breaks. And so we need to give them three different types of commercial breaks. The first one is a public service announcement, saving something. Now we're going to save something that we don't normally save. From this here. Well, somebody here that doesn't have to do with Harry Potter. Shoes. Save, save the shoes. We're going to be saving the shoes in our public service announcement. All right, so we're going to have a sitcom that's going to have two people that wouldn't normally go together in a sitcom that's going to be coming out this fall. So somebody over here, give me a famous dead celebrity. <laughs> Bob Hope. Okay, so we have Bob Hope, and Bob Hope is going to be starring in a, uh, in a sitcom with a famous modern singer. Lady this girl over here. What's that? Kesha. Kesha. <laughs> So the sitcom is called Kesha and Hope. Okay. So, and then we're going to have something for sale, something that you would normally find that would be for sale. We're going to have a commercial for it. People. Uh, we're going to be people. We're going to be selling people. Okay. Yeah, 21st century, everybody. Okay. Too soon? No. Okay. All right. So, all right. So, uh, players. Public service announcements again. Uh, Save the shoes. Okay. Bob Hope, Hope and Kesha. Bob Hope and Kesha, and finally, selling people. people for sale. People for sale. Okay, the book is what? Quidditch on the Amazon. Quidditch on the Amazon. Uh, players, are you ready? Ready. Yes. Audience, are you ready? Yes. Here's a word from our sponsor. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome live studio audience. I'm Chris Kelly, and here we are featuring great authors of 2012. And just out, you won't believe this, we actually today were able to get Jeremy Sparks on our show. Let's hear for Jeremy Sparks. Boy, I'll tell you, last week I was ready to quit this show after our monster drink sponsor pulled out. I thought, okay, I'm not doing it, but we've got new sponsors today, supposedly, so we'll see how it goes. That must have been horrendous. Well, look who's doing therapy for me. <laughs> Thanks, Jeremy. Jeremy, let's talk about your book, Quidditch on the Amazon. Now, a lot of people say, hey, he puts the quit in Quidditch, if you know what I mean. But tell us, what was the inspiration uh, for Quidditch on the Amazon? Well, really, I was just very interested in the Amazonian culture. They didn't have any movies, no electricity, but yet somehow J.K. Rowling had managed to send them copies of her book in their native language. And they were fascinated with this. They adopted it as their gods and their culture. <laughs> it was astounding. That's unbelievable. Yes, and they took up the game of Quidditch right away. That's incredible. Can you tell me why on page, I just happen to have a signed copy. Can you just tell me why on page 334 you decided to put a word search? <laughs> well, Really, I was trying to assimilate the Amazonian people into the American slash British way of life, really, in Hogwarts. So it's, it's a Hogwarts puzzle full of different houses and the people who founded those houses. So I really wanted to act Can you stop them. talking for a second? <laughs> wow, that's fascinating. I'm usually a better actor. That's really boring. <laughs> so, Jeremy, we've got to go to commercial break. So a word from our sponsor. Oh hey. man, my stomach is growling. Dude, you should try one of these new candy bars. They're green. Mmm, this is delicious. What is this? Well, it's made from a grain product. Oh, a grain it's, product. Well, I mean, mm. sort of. I mean, the name is like a grain it product. It tastes meaty. They are awesome. I'll sell you some more. Would you like to buy some? I sure would. These are.
are $13.95 a piece. I'll sell you three wow. for $29. What's in them? Well, it's green and, uh, you know, soylent green. <laughs> this is the best people I've ever eaten. <laughs> Boy, Jeremy, am I excited about our new sponsors. This is going to be a great season. Yeah, <laughs> terrific. Uh, well, hey, seriously, though, that was fascinating, but I just they make me go to commercial. Can you do me a great big favor, and this for our audience. Audience, would you like to hear him read just part of the book? <laughs> they always do. Can you give us a dramatic reading here, starting on page 400, after the word searches are over? <laughs> Chapter 97. My date with the Amazonian bludger. <laughs> this date with the Amazonian bludger started out like any other day. I was simply getting ready, putting on my cologne, imported from Britannia, of course. <coughs> I, I like to use big words, so that was just one whole it's, But And look, I love the illustrations. Oh, great. Um, Stephen King ended up doing that. Most people don't know he's also... Oh my gosh! Yes. Oh no! He's also... And they are very graphic. Oh wow. Yeah. yeah. Well, yes. He was on Valium, so I mean... <laughs> I thought that was a real blood stain. Uh, that's just how great of an artist he is. That's incredible. Let's pause right there, because believe it or not, we've got to go to another commercial. Now, a word from our sponsor. Well, it's great to be out here with you USO boys, cheering up the truth and entertaining it. And now, let's say goodnight. I'll be... Oh, everybody, it's my granddaughter, Kesha! Hey, Daddy. Hey, Kesha, how are you? I'm nice good, making out. money, you know, wrecking cars, doing drugs. Very Coming good. this fall to ABC, the new sitcom, Hope Kesha Stays. <laughs> I think I won't. Jeremy, does it just me or does it look like Kesha put on a couple of pounds this year? <laughs> Happens to the best of us. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of pounds and bludgeoning and all these great things, one of my favorite things to do with our guests, and this is no exception for you, as distinguished a gentleman as you are. And by the way, can I say I love your accent? Yes, you may. <laughs> I love your accent. <laughs> Thank you. Now, the, I'm just hoping, and if the audience says no, you don't get to do it, but would you love to see an interpretive dance of chapter 27? <laughs> I had a feeling. Here's chapter 27, and the title is... The Day the Bludger Broke. I'll hold the book. <laughs> you dance. But what about the music? You must provide me from your own receptive... Musical talents? I sure will. I heard a song at the Cactus last night. Will that work? <laughs> <laughs> Terrific. Great. I can't believe I went home alone again from the Cactus. <laughs> Cut to commercial right uh, now. I'm so sorry. Word from our sponsor. Has this ever happened to you? Hi, Kim Kardashian. I'm here to pick up my shoes. I'm sorry, but they have stopped making that particular order of clothing. Oh my god, the shoes! Oh no! Save the shoes. Don't let this happen to your favorite celebrity. <laughs> Well, before we go, and they're going to roll credits in front of our faces so we can do about whatever we want. Jeremy, why don't you say we take about 30 or 40 of these books and throw them at the audience members? Sounds like a plan to me. Let's go. Who wants one? is called Backwards Body Freeze. And in Backwards Body Freeze, we just start with a scene, a couple players start with that particular scene, and then someone yells freeze, and uh, one or more other players will come in and do the scene that came before that. And then we'll just keep rolling backwards for a little while, all right? So what we want to start off with is something that these guys can portray uh, right here on the stage. Uh, how about a sporting event? Tennis. Water polio. How about not sporting Water polio? Water polio. <laughs> That's a water polio. We will go with water polio. <laughs> Water polio, and this is backward body freeze. <laughs> You're lucky you got a chair! Bennett, I've had enough of you! 
I'm gonna throw this right past you, Switz. Ah, uh, bend you in your hoity-toity ways and your fancy automobile! Please! <laughs> and I shall call it a water wheelchair. <laughs> How much kilos? I would love to buy one. I think we could sell them for around $36, plus tax. Breathe! Bob, here's the 50-pound the, uh, bag of Jello that we're going to use to fill the pool. I don't really get why, but here's 50 pounds. 50. Hang on, hang on one second. got to put this one in there for... Oh, green. Oh, son of a... Oh. I know. I know. It makes Freeze. them... All... Look, man, the best for 50 pounds of gelatin. Do you have the horse? Please. Oh. <laughs> Where the heck are we gonna get 50 pounds of gelatin from? I know, let's get a horse! That's a great idea! Please! <laughs> Son, I know you're in a wheelchair, but I want you to get in the pool right now. Go! Oh, I should have filled it with something. What the heck? Yeah, real gelatin, please! Um, just try and get up back up here. Reach my hand. I can't reach you. I can't reach you. Honey, we can try again. Breathe! <laughs> Now don't cry, it's only a shot, and it's gonna cure you of a terrible disease in the future. I guarantee it's gonna work. That'll be great. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> awesome, now I have polio. You idiot! <laughs> Work when I injected myself. Freeze! <laughs> I'm gonna try this on myself first! <laughs> it works! I can walk! You didn't have polio to begin with, you idiot! Well, you threw a wrench into my plans. <laughs> I can still sell it. I have an idea. Let's sell it as a horse tranquilizer. <laughs> Gelatin market, I see where you're going. You're a genius. I knew I hired you for a reason. Freeze. Thank you. Uh, listen, God, uh, all these humans are getting out of control, see? We gotta come up with something to make them all, you know, plain and lame and everything else, see? They're getting too powerful. See, us angels don't like it. You saying that my humans are too powerful? I'm saying that humans are too powerful. <laughs> yeah. That's your problem. This is my humanity, okay? Okay, God, I'm just telling you. Soon they'll be raising up new statues Please. and new idols. You are one of my angels. And when I develop a bad accent and start acting like the Godfather, I don't want to hear you whining about how my other creatures are raising up too high. Sure thing, God! Do <laughs> <laughs> I have some, you know, clothes, you know, or something? I mean, or, a, mm. or actual genitalia there? <laughs> oh, hey! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Freeze! I, uh, I really like what you're done with Earth, but I was thinking maybe you could, uh, I don't know, create something else. I, I have a, a lot of responsibility building everything. I mean, I could use some more elves like me. You have a moon. <laughs> hey, thanks, your eminence. You're a really great god. You got it. Freeze! So, god, I know it's been a tough six days, but... You know, all of creation, and uh, there you go. Sit back, relax, enjoy. It's about time. I need a break. I'll probably take it for, I don't know, a few billion years. I've had enough. Freeze! You know what, Gabe? We're on day two, and this really, really is starting to suck. I've got to start growing stuff now. Hold on. Let's create something. Let's create polo, okay? Polo. Oh, oh is... crap! I didn't say. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are one size fits all again. I'm Steve. I'm Gary. Martin. Bill. And I'm still Jeff. Have a good time for the rest of the festival.